in a previous video, I brought up this graph and asked people where they believed uh, the human norm was. Where is our average? Where is our um, yardstick by which we can measure whether or not life is more good than bad? Um, in other words, where do we sit here, or perhaps more bad than good, depending on your answer? Where are we here uh, if um, things are as they should be? Are we at a state where pleasure and pain, happiness and sadness, joy and sorrow, uh, suffering and uh, non-suffering cancel each other out and are in a basically uh, perfectly balanced condition? Or if we take everything out of it, all the bias, are we somewhere around here on the graph or up here? It's uh, just a guessing where people might actually find. Uh, normal to be if we sort of remove as much of the outside influences as possible where would we be as humans um, the depressive I would assume would be down here somewhere um, and the optimistic would be up here somewhere so where's sort of the average well I don't really have an answer to that uh, to be perfectly honest I don't know if there is an answer for that because again my whole point is we don't know the value of someone else's life so I can only ask um, what each individual thinks um, any any answer to this is inherently biased now one of the reasons why I really wanted to bring this up was the Benatarian formula does something like this it removes the top half of the graph completely. Now there's nothing wrong with that. If a graph is meant to actually just measure certain things, if a graph is just meant to measure harm, okay, then that's fine. And then you would you would have a harm o meter. Uh, so when you're born, you're brought in, and then uh, at various points throughout your life, you fluctuate along this um, along this graph. Now, the, I don't really have a problem with that, but the problem is, the insinuation is, this is our entire existence. The top half of the graph is sliced right off. Um, and although it's not actually uh, blatantly um, said, it's not actually put into so many words, the assumption is, this is life. This is everything there is. Now, <laughs> When you unilaterally gerrymander the numbers, when you unilaterally um, ask uh, an impossible question, i.e., this is the same sort of question as, have you stopped beating your wife yet? You know, the old um, and somewhat politically incorrect um, question now that's kind of a, a joke about an impossible question. This is up there with, have you stopped beating your wife yet? It looks incontrovertible, doesn't it? But that's only because of the way that it's phrased, that the, that the whole thing is framed. This is a measure of harm. Okay, all you're doing is you are measuring harm. You're setting the, the stage for a situation in which it looks as though life is inherently negative because of what you have set out to measure. this top of the of the graph is deliberately excluded or maybe it wasn't deliberately excluded maybe Benatar simply wasn't thinking I don't know why did he leave this part off the graph that I don't understand um, the only thing I can conclude is maybe he believes he sincerely believes that this doesn't exist which is again the we're going back to the anhedonia thing where the person actually believes that this doesn't exist that, that this is a delusion so we might as well just leave this out just to be completely honest with ourselves sorry it doesn't work like that this stuff up here exists and is part of life it's just as much a part of life as this is the asymmetry argument is a gigantic fail and I don't understand why anyone would fall for it the only thing that I could possibly think of that would justify that is again that um, that old insidious uh, question being answered in the usual way are happy people stupid because the only way to make this graph reasonably switch to this is to assume that happiness does not exist and anyone who is actually positive positively happy is wrong and deluded well you can 
Fiddle with graphs however you want. You can fiddle with questions however you want. Just because I ask you, have you stopped beating your wife yet, um, it doesn't automatically follow that you're an abusive uh, uh, you're in an abusive relationship that you beat your wife. It doesn't work that way. That's just gerrymandering. That's just framing the question in such a way as to guarantee the result that you want. It's funny that someone with the reputation of Benatar would use such deliberately uh, faulty logic and dishonest logic, I would say. But again, it's only dishonest if you actually um, if you actually assume that he knows that he's doing this, unless, of course, he honestly believes that joy and happiness and uh, enthusiasm, exaltation, and all of that is an actual delusion, that it actually doesn't exist. And if he does believe that, well, that's my whole point. <laughs> He's not actually making an accurate graph of the human condition. Measuring harm is all very well, but it's not the whole picture. I don't care how um, much um, intellectual elbow grease he expends getting to his conclusions. Thank you.